Alright, hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install a mod for Victoria 2 and go over some of the issues that you might have when you first install a mod, such as crashing on startup, exactly, you know, all that other stuff. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is come to your main directory of Victoria 2, where you can see v2game.exe. Um, it, if it's in Steam, it's going to be in your Steam apps common folder Victoria 2. Um, if it's not on Steam, it should, it's just going to be in your main directory, but overall... Uh, you want to come to this folder and then you also want to come to your documents paradox interactive and Victoria 2 If you don't have anything in here, don't worry about it But uh, if you do we'll go over on what to do So the first thing you want to want to do is have your actual mod So I have HPM and HPM folder mods are composed of folders and dot mods All right So if you don't have the dot mod your mod will not be recognized by the game and it won't launch if you don't have the f folder you won't even have a mod so you need a dot mod and a folder file. Usually they come in a in a WinRAR and you just extract it. Um, so yeah, you're gonna the first thing you're gonna do is want to extract it into the mod folder here. So you know I already extracted it to my desktop, but you can put a you can put the the WinRAR file here. Just right click it and click extract here. It really doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, as you see, I have HPM and HPM dot mod in my mod folder in the Victoria 2 install folder and then the next thing you're gonna wanna do is uh, actually see if uh, the mod is being recognized by the game if there's any problem or if anything like that so here's my Victoria 2 launcher as you can see I have historical project mod there which is HPM um, and I also have some other mods like you know rectangular flags and a map mod um, but uh, overall, yeah, so now we see that the mod is being recognized, and sometimes when you launch a new mod, uh, your volumes will be all, all, all out of whack, so what you want to do is just come over here and edit the settings.txt file, and just change this uh, value right here, master volume, to like 10, so you don't get deafened, because for some reason Paradox decides to always have their music on max volume and deafen everyone. Um... Uh, another thing, so yeah, basically, you know, you put your mod in the mod folder, and then uh, you go to map and cache, and if there's anything in here, what I want you to do is just select it all and delete it, because that will cause a crash on startup, and then the next thing you want to do is come to your documents, Paradox Interactive Victoria 2, and if there's an HPM folder here, you just go ahead and, you know, you get rid of it. Um, because that can also cause startup crashes uh, but overall uh, if you do all the steps I just showed you um, you should you should be fine and the game should work but yeah just make sure that your mod has a folder and a dot mod and make sure that it's recognized on the launcher and also clear your map cache whenever you have startup crashes so just go to map cache clear that and delete the documents folder for the respective mod and generally your problems shall be solved but uh, I wanna thank you for watching and uh, have a good one